Hey, what is up guys? Are you planning to relocate to Poland for work and you have a lot of questions? This video is just for you. My name is Anuj Batra and it's been a couple of years I live in Warsaw. I work in an IT company uh, which is located in this building called Warsaw Spire. And I know Poland is not a popular country and in case you're not aware, Warsaw is the capital of Poland and it has a population of around 1.8 million, which is close to one tenth of the population of New Delhi. I wanted to make this video because people usually ask me how it's like to move here and how much do you get paid, especially in IT sector, what's the cost of living, etc. I hope I'll be able to answer some of your questions today. So let's get on to it. Let me start with the first question, which is really tricky to answer. Why Poland? Poland might not be the first country that comes to mind when we think of relocating overseas for work. I just want to say, if you want to live in an European country, which is not that expensive, it has a growing IT sector, has a really good, nice transport and modern apartments, then this is your place. On top of that, if you are an explorer, you want to really go visit neighboring countries, then flights from Poland are not that expensive compared to other developed countries. Next question is about salary. How much are you getting paid? I'll try to give you an idea. However, it really depends on various factors like your, ex your skill set, experience level and interview negotiation skills, etc. As per latest survey in 2020, average salary for a software developer is around 15,300 PLN. And for a project manager, it's around 24,500 PLN. And again, these are average figures. It, it may really vary based on factors I talked about. Uh, let me give you another perspective. If you have close to five years of IT experience, then you can expect roughly 12,000 PLN per month, which can go even higher if you have uh, niche skills and you have uh, really negotiation skills with your HR. If you are interested in more details about salary and salary in other sectors, I'll provide a link in description down below. Next question people usually ask me is the cost of living. It will be easier to understand for us if I divide this category in three sections. First is accommodation, second grocery and third is travel and shopping. Talking about accommodation, a studio apartment in city center where I live in, it would cost you around 2000 PLN per month. And if you are interested in a one bedroom apartment with one a bedroom and a hall with a attached kitchenette, that would set you back around 2500 PLN per month. Of course, if you are single and you prefer to live in a shared accommodation, that'll be even cheaper and would cost you around 800 to 1000 PLN per month. Just so that you know, this rent does not include electricity and internet charges. However, a fixed amount of heating and um, water charges are included in your monthly rent, which is called administrative charges. This is a common practice here in Poland. However, if you consume over that limit, you have to pay an excess charges once every six months. Next about grocery, on an average for a family, it would cost around 1000 PLN per month. And again, it depends on person to person and the place or the grocery store from where you are actually buying it. If I talk about public transport, you may get a travel card like this and it will cost around 110 PLN for one month and 280 PLN for three months. Finally, traveling to other places and shopping completely depends on you. Apart from that, if you are planning to live close to work, which I do, then you don't really need to invest in a travel card. Then a single ticket for 20 minutes, it costs around 3.4 PLN. So I can say for a family, monthly expenditure will be close to 5,000 PLN per month for a really good lifestyle. Just to give you an idea about a schooling as well, if you have a small kid, then kindergarten costs around 1500 PLN per month and it can even be higher for some of the really good kindergartens here. And for international schools, it will be 2500 PLN per month and it can actually go even higher as well. On top of that, Polish schools are completely free, but the education will be completely in Polish. Next question is understanding gross and net salary. I'll try to answer this by taking an example. Let's say your salary is 10,000 PLN per month. At the end of the month, you receive 7,140 PLN. I believe it's really important for us to understand where that 27% of your salary gone, right? So there are basically three components deducted from your salary. One is income tax. 
Second, Zeus Insurance. Zeus is a social insurance institution here in Poland. This covers pension, disability and sickness insurance. And third is NFZ, which is contribution towards National Health Fund. Now talking about tax rate, income tax here in Poland is progressive. As of 2020, the tax rates are 17% on annual income up to 85,528, which is 1% lower than 2019. And that is because we have uh, presidential elections in 2020 and 32% on rest of the income. In other words, I can say if your annual income is below 85,528, a flat tax rate of 17% will be applicable to you. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions today. And if you have more questions, just put a comment below and I'll try to create more videos and post. And if you like the video, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.